Hey guys, what's the good word? I'm Andre from The Trading Crew and on this channel we talk about stocks I love, stocks you love and most importantly stocks nobody should love. So today I want to uh, have a quick talk to you guys about the anchored VWAP, what it represents and how I usually use it in my trades, especially for, for things like swing trading. So I want to use Bitcoin here as the reference that we are going to be playing with when using the anchored VWAP. Um, I only found the anchored VWAP being really, really efficient in the TradingView app. It's a free one that you can use on desktops, on browsers. Uh, you can download a, a local version of it. It's really just overall a fantastic app to use. So to access the VWAP, you would have to go over here and uh, click on this tiny arrow here and then find the anchored VWAP. So um, how exactly does it work? Let's, let's start with that. Uh, basically, you choose it and then you select a point at which uh, you want it to be anchored at and then it automatically uh, paints the rest for you guys. So let's say we are really interested in finding out what would be the average price at which Bitcoin was bought ever since the 13th of May. So you might be asking yourself why is this important and the answer is pretty straightforward. This allows you to be able to predict what are the resistance points for your stocks. So it's a really, really good tool uh, that would allow you to predict when people are most likely to lock in profits or uh, not necessarily to lock in profits as much as break even if a stock has, uh, has pegged back quite a bit. So since we all know that Bitcoin has uh, dropped quite significantly over the last couple of weeks, I do want to uh, use Bitcoin as a reference here. So let's just go ahead and click anywhere really and see what happens. So I'm going to just go ahead and pretend that we are somebody that didn't really buy at all time high highs, but really close to all time highs. So as you guys can see, if you just click on one of these uh, candles, it paints this uh, yellow, in my case, uh, line here that pretty much represents what would be the average dollar amount that people that bought in this time range uh, find themselves into. So again, this is a very important point of reference. As we can see, they are pretty far away from where we're currently sitting. So let's, let's get to somewhere a bit more realistic. This was just an example to get things going here. Let's say that you're, you're looking for people that know the stocks and you want to understand what their position is. So in this case, obviously, we would be looking at all time highs here and then we had a retracement and we had a retracement somewhere where, as, as you guys can see, I have this uh, painted over here, a very strong historical support line. Um, at this bounce, it's very likely for a good portion of people to have gotten into Bitcoin as they saw this bullish pin bar over here at support. So let's pretend that somebody buys the next day here when it was just a fantastic day for Bitcoin. And as you guys can see, the average dollar amount at which they currently sit is right around $45,000. So I, I will uh, go ahead and bet you right now that most of the people that bought that initial price point would be looking at breaking even in this range. Basically, they probably, a lot of them averaged down in the position that Bitcoin continued pulling on back. And a lot of them are going to be looking at either um, locking in zero losses or potentially from here onward looking at making additional profits. And then the other couple of, uh, of points I would be taking here would be this red day over here, which is absolutely a huge one. And it retraces right back to the same support line. And then um, I would go ahead and have a look at the next support here at the, yeah, it's the, so the blue one is the 200 uh, day moving average. Again, a good, uh, a good usual support range. So I would paint another one over here. And as you can see, we're getting much closer. And the one biggest thing that I would like to show you guys would be uh, look at these 
two or three candles over here and just check out the fact that as soon as these candles hit exactly the yellow range here that I just drew they went right back almost immediately and this is because again most of the folks that bought here at support um, have found themselves that they're not really uh, interested in holding any longer and whatnot and there a lot of them are either uh, locking in zero losses or looking at potentially locking in minimal uh, profits depending on how much they average down during this whole downtrend so um, what would be a really really strong support line well it would be this red one uh, this yellow one over here the bottom one and then if we really want to be extra cautious right now i probably wouldn't get into bitcoin lower than this other yellow line so bitcoin went quite a bit lower today and now it's starting to recover once more so i'm gonna just delete this last one but as I was telling you guys, I'm expecting Bitcoin to be able to, to, to burst through this second to last yellow line here and continue moving higher. But as soon as it touches this other yellow line that I just drew, the other anchored view up, I'm expecting Bitcoin to go down by a bit again for a few days at least until it manages to find a new level of support and continue going higher. Now, why exactly is, is the anchored view up here useful? Well, I guess it just allows you to very easily be able to predict which are the points at which we might see some even temporary um, resistance. So if you're a swing trader and let's say you're getting on Bitcoin now, well, um, first off, it's really good to know that you can pretty much count on, let's see, on around 10% before we hit this first potential resistance again uh, so it might be a, a good place for you to lock in part of the profits see where Bitcoin goes and if it manages to break through it get in again and wait up until it goes up all the way to uh, the $45,000 range where you're gonna be in the 24% um, profit taking range or you can simply wait for it to break this support uh, level here especially since we have a, a, a horizontal support line here as well uh, so wait for it to break, break through it and then again it, we have a 10 percent gain up until the next support and this is pretty much it guys uh, it's not much more to it so let's have a look at another example i know AMD is a really, uh, really good stock that retraced quite a bit recently. So let's have a look at AMD here. Um, I like using the daily when doing this because I, I do swing trading. This is useful for day trading as well, but day trading is way too involved for my personal taste. I don't enjoy uh, spending so much time staring at uh, the stock market, especially since I, I have a lot of other things to, to focus on. So. Um, let's have a look at AMD. It looks like we already have a VWAP drawn here, probably from, from before. So let me just uh, remove everything and we can start from scratch. And um, cool. So let's say you're somebody interested in, uh, in AMD and um, you decided to go in. Again, if you're somebody that is OG interested, you've seen the highs here, the lows, the highs, the lows. It went higher up here. It made it made all-time highs and then it retraced um, so let's say you you saw this retracement and said okay this is a good time for me to buy in uh, it went up briefly and then down again again really strong bullish pin bar here this green one so let's say you go like oh that's fantastic let's buy again goes up again for a few days and then we have this more significant retracement over here so let's see where these guys are uh, and finally here we just briefly have had this other retracement a week ago um, where at these levels I'm not even sure if it's gonna tell us anything but let's just for, for the fun of it let's paint another one here for some reason it's not working uh, give me a sec I, I think I've hit the max or something cool so um, we are currently way above this last one, so I'm gonna delete it. It's not of importance for us at this very moment. So the one thing that I would personally do here is, again, looking at this current screen, probably I would be looking at 
uh, being careful are around the 79.4 range here if I see some strong resistance again maybe you want to take a part of the profit and then wait another couple of days and see what you want to do with your position after it, it, it manages to find some solid ground um, if it manages to blow through it the very next one here that we need to be careful about would be this um, uh, I guess $81 range so this is pretty much how you can go about using the, the uh, anchored VWAP guys I find it very useful for swing trades cool so that pretty much wraps up the video here if you got anything out of it please leave it a thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel i'm gonna continue posting a lot of them and uh, drop a comment below if you have any questions thanks so much for your time take care